لو تطرحين في البرور نشوف الشباب كلهم ما شاء الله الله يبارك يعني يقطعون تعرف حتى المواد اللي يصفون عليهم ملايين يحطون في هالمواد بس آه. عشان بس شيء عشر ثواني 20 ثانيه خلاص حتى الماكينه تنقع وخلاص يعني ماساه وطبعا هي ان نحن اليوم ننافس للمنافسه مش لغرض لغرض مادي جيسوس ماي جاد يا يو هاف تو بي ا ليتل كريزي تو جيت اب ذا هيل Once a year, almost 100,000 people flock to the desert in the UAE near the Saudi border to attend one of the largest off-road races in the world, called the Liwa Sports Festival, a nine-day celebration of racing culture. The race involves the Gulf's best off-road racers power a heavily modified four-wheel drive up one of the world's largest sand dunes, Tel Murab, the Hill of Horror. Competitors push their cars to the limit up a near vertical sand wall. fog everywhere winter time in dubai we're three days removed from the tel murab competition we're on the way to talk to one of the competitors who's going to be dune bashing with his buggies i think we're a bit lost but if you look around you can see that this is clearly where he practices you can see tire tracks on the dunes so hopefully you know we'll we'll find him soon or he'll find us Nasser, an engineer by profession, has spent a small fortune on his speed racing habit. He releaser. We, for us, it's a treat and enjoyment from normal life. From normal life, there are challenges, there are challenges, there are creativities, there are all the things. If you look at the people in the brewery, you can see the boys, all of them, 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 all of them. There are only 100 of these buggies in the UAE, and they're at least $135,000 a pop. نحن نعرف إن الجائزة أو الجوائز حق المسابقات مو كثير مقارنة اللي أنت تستثمر فيه. فشو هو المحفز إنك تكمل في هالشيء؟ كي هواية. فالهواية اليوم مش نحن ما نطلع مردود مادي فيها مم. طبعا نحن سيلف فاينانس وطبعا هي ان نحن اليوم ننافس للمنافسه مش لغرض مم. لغرض مادي اكيد يوم من الايام هاي اللعبه بيكون لها شان اكبر من الشان اللي هي في في الوقت الحالي We're about to go into the desert with Nasser and it's going to take us on a little spin to see how much power and how much fun you actually can have in these buggies okay. Ready to go At first, it feels like a normal car ride. But then... Oh! Oh! Oh my God! Oh! Oh! What was that? I wasn't expecting that. The power, the violence, the speed, the raw speed. Going up on two wheels, going down on two wheels. Think of the scariest roller coaster you've ever been on. That's nothing close to what we just felt. 1,500 horsepower, and we haven't even scratched the surface. Uh, not in that way, but we still have uh, more to go. You know? uh, well, you can go as much as you want. I'm done for the day. Nasser, thank you so much. Thank you. My adrenaline levels return to normal just in time for the big race. With all the trucks and four-wheelers rolling into the Liwa Festival, It feels like something out of Mad Max. I meet up with Nasser again. Where, 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 where? Where are you? Shabab, where are you? Lefa? Where? Ah? Here, I have you so I can show you. Where are you? Ah, but I tried it. Everything okay. How? وايد اوكي 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 ممتازه زين خلينا نتكلم شوي ورايت ناو ذا في اي بي كامبس كاز ذاتس وير ناصر سيت اب الحين انا اشوفك هادي جدا المفروض المفروض اوكي المفروض تكون هادي 
طبعا متحمس لكني متمالك نفسي يعني انا اقول لك انه من احلى الاجواء بصراحه الحين لو الحين ان هذه ثلاث مسابقه شو اخطر شيء استوى لك؟ اخطر شيء ممكن تواجهه في في الدراج اذا السياره طلعت سوت اوت اوت اوف بالانس واذا ما خفيت سرعتك ممكن يستوي عندك فليب اوفر الهدوء مطلوب التركيز مطلوب وان شاء الله يعني التوفيق للجميع In the run-up to the big race up the Tel Mur Abdoun, there's a buggy drag race tonight in which Nasser will compete. As night falls, more of these desert monsters appear and we follow Nasser and his buggies to the racetrack. People keep backfiring their car. And it is very loud. It's not fun. Protection. We're minutes away from the competition. There's nervousness, anxiety, excitement, but most of all, fun in the air. People are ready to get going. Behind me, Nasser is getting the final touches ready on all the dune buggies. There might be problems, there might not be. So we're going to find out when the race starts. The sand drag race is a test of who can race the fastest across a distance of 91 meters. Each competitor gets two attempts. Wow! Nasrza. He wants to come first, but more importantly, he hopes to break his friend's record of 4.45 seconds from last year. Nasser finished and got 5.1, so we'll see if this is how he'll get مبروك مبروك بعد ما خلص بعد ما خلص بعدك ما خلص؟ اي هاي اعطال فيها هاي المشكلة هو جت عطل فيها ما فيها تقطيع وايد مس مس فارق عندي البروجرامر كله كل شيء طلع غلط مع ان هذه الامل كانت عليها لكن اللي بعدني انا الاول ما شفناك في البداية كان عندك بداية صعبة بداية صعبة خمسة فاصلة واحدة مشكلة وهاي خلاص طلعت من المسابقة ما ما رم اقول شيء يعني خلاص يعني خلاص قدر الله ما شاء الله انت في المركز الاول بس بس مش الاداء اللي كنت متوقعه من السياره ولكن ان شاء الله الدعسه الاخيره وان شاء الله اسوي زمن فيها احسن ان شاء الله حبيب حبيبي يلا حبيبي هيز ان فيرست بليس بس هيز نوت هابي بيكوز تو هيم ات از ان اباوت ذا بليس اتس اباوت هاو ويل هي واز اكسبكتد تو دو وات هي اكسبكتد اوف هيم سيلف ات وزنت انف فور هيم ذس از هيز سكند اتمبت اند از اونلي شوت ات بريكينج هيز فريندز ريكورد كمان بس لا ما لبس جود And yes. Nasser manages to beat the record on his final lap and takes first place. He's still not satisfied and tells me he has bigger plans for next year. It's day one of the infamous race of the Tel Mor Abdu. The roots of this competition date back to the late 90s when a dozen cars were informally gathering to get up the dune in the fastest time possible. As dune bashing culture grew and Tel Mora became better known, the festival, supported by the Abu Dhabi government, became an official event in 2002. The race starts at night, but the audience and fans are already dune bashing. To get up the dune is extremely difficult and also dangerous. Before the race, I wanted to meet one of the drivers crazy enough to attempt this. So I visited Saeed, who was fine-tuning the car he hopes will conquer the dune. Saeed is 28 years old and has been racing professionally for the past 16 years. فما عليها خوف في في الحصان العالية شو قوة شو قوة الحصان والله هذه متوقعين فيها تقريبا شيء قريب من الثلاث ثلاث أعوذ بالله 
خاف ربك ليش تخاف ربك يا اخوي؟ لا تلف لا لا تسوي فيه وما تسوي بتطير كل ما زاد كل ما توفقت انت سعيد ديمونستريتد ذا انجن تو جيف مي ا سنس اوف اتس باور يعني ماكسيموم وي ماكس ات اوت على 1800 1900 كل ما زادت قوه المحرك كل ما زادت نسبه الاعطاء اللي فيه ولكن هذه مجازفه الواحد يعني ياخذها To modify a car like this costs a minimum of $100,000. فانت فزت قبل صح حصلت مرتبات؟ نعم اخذت الثاني واخذت الثالث. هل هل هذا دوامك الرسمي ام عندك لا طال عمرك انا اشتغل وادرس في نفس الوقت. هل انت تقدر تتخيل حياتك بدون هالهوايه؟ ما لا هل تقدر تتخيل نفسك؟ لا والله حسيت انها استوت ادمان في حياتك؟ جتني فتره حاولت شوي ابتعد عنها ولكن ما قدرت، يعني حاولت قد ما اقدر ولكن هذه هوايتي وشغال انا فيها. Time has come for Saeed to test his limits up the big dune. Competitors can race up with any four-wheel drive, but most prefer the Nissan Patrol, since it's lighter and easier to drive up the dune. That's probably why the winning prize is a brand new Nissan Patrol. On the sidelines, the crowd cheers these daredevils. It's mostly guys hanging out and partying, complimenting the smells of explosive fuel with wood fires, chai and sweet food. As night falls, Saeed and his team of engineers and mechanics are making final modifications to their cars in the run-up to tonight's race. The race spans two nights across four different categories depending on the type of car. Saeed is competing in two, the V6 manual and auto class. Hello, Salim. How are you? 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 من اخر مره شفناك والله سوينا تيست واحد وواجهنا مشكله في السياره ما كان ما كان شيء نتمناه يعني ولكن الحمد لله سيطرنا على المشكله والسياره جاهزه الحين الحمد لله حلينا المشاكل اللي فيها انت كان عندك حتى قبل ما وصلت ب 20 دقيقه تعطلت السياره صحيح السياره ف... اللي جايين فيها تعطلت نعم فانت مش خايف ان السياره تعطل وانت طالع لا ان شاء الله ما تعطل ابد لا ان شاء الله يعني شاء تعطلت الله. في الجراج صحيح وتعطلت على الطريق صحيح بس واثق 100% انه ما بتتعطل وانت طالع ان شاء الله ان شاء الله ما فيها مشاكل انت لا تيس تقول تتعطل وتسوي لنا مشاكل لا لا ان شاء الله ان شاء الله لا I'm not sure why I kept asking him about the stalling I feel bad and hope I didn't jinx it Saeed is about to race his car up the dune along with 55 other competitors This is his third year in a row competing and he really wants to win The driver only gets one shot to launch up the 50 degree dune from standstill and must drive 300 meters in the fastest time possible. Yeah, let's see if I can get to go. Oh, something happened to the engine. It's just really disappointing, you know. He couldn't even finish the track. He couldn't make it all the way to the end. Something happened to the engine. It looked like his engine just got killed and he stopped dead. Saeed. Alhamdulillah, salama. What's up? Well, it's a little bit. Of course, you didn't expect it to be able to get out of it or get out of it. No, of course. So, what's your feeling? I don't think it's a good thing. But it's a good thing. Saeed still has one more shot to master the dune tomorrow. I speak to his tuner, Boyan, to find out what went wrong. It's a bit messy, but put, put it this way. The cars got put together in maybe uh, three weeks, three to four weeks. Right, yeah. Um, and we were trashing on both cars like crazy hours, and everything was just kind of put together very quickly. So it's not ideal. It's not like motorsport grade, like wiring and stuff like that. So, But otherwise, we wouldn't have made it here. But this engine is like it's never been ran here, so this that, is that, this that, is a that engine from that's a the, that's uh, a GTR car. engine actually. That's a GTR engine. Yeah. <laughs> and you guys put it in a fiberglass uh, shell yeah. and try to take it up a dune. Fi fiberglass refrigerator, basically. Yeah. Now these doors don't have any locks on them, so how easily could uh, Saeed get out, assuming something bad? Oh Jesus. my God. His, the nose of the car literally. <laughs> yeah. When something like that happens, um, the first thing you gotta do is stop the car, right? So, because right. otherwise you're gonna roll down the hill. Right. Uh, so you gotta worry about like 
the car Handbrake. stopping and then like getting out of it as well. So it's it's quite difficult. Yeah, you have to be a little crazy to get up that hill. You can see it. I mean, uh, I wouldn't come down it, let alone get up. <laughs> with such high powered engines and modifications, things can get complicated with cars occasionally overheating and even bursting into flames. His engine caught on fire. I mean, these are the dangers we were discussing that perhaps some of the competitors don't want to think about because they're competing, but no one wants to talk about. These are serious. We just had the workers cleaning the area, smoothing it out for the driver. And uh, there's a lot of excitement behind this driver for some reason. It's the last night of racing. Despite yesterday's misfortune, Saeed still has another chance to compete with the second car. This is Saeed's chance to redeem himself. Everything has built up to this moment. Let's see if against all odds, he can walk away with a win. He made it up the dune. We weren't expecting him to even get up halfway because of all the problems he had yesterday. We weren't uh, expecting much, but he made it up. Saeed didn't win, but came third place. He was disappointed, but assured us he'd be back next year. What I've learned is that off-roading is not just a sport, but a culture, a way of life, and a form of expression that connects people to their desert roots.